The Mazari Sharif Mosque is located in Afghanistan, a country completely surrounded on all sides by other countries. <laughs> Surprise, Carmen! Whoa! <laughs> nice going, Zack! You were supposed to catch Carmen in the net, not me! Sorry, <laughs> fishing's not my best sport. We may have lost Carmen, little bro, but it looks like Carmen lost this. A birder's handbook? And she was reading a chapter on bird songs. But why? What's it got to do with the lamp from Afghanistan? Player, we need to figure out why Carmen's suddenly interested in birds. Do a topical info scan on, uh, I guess, bird songs. Yo, Dr. Doolittle, you want to talk to the birds? Well, there are almost 10,000 species in the world today. And if you want to chat online with them, you got to learn their lingo. Because birds talk to each other using calls to alert their homies. Help them fly together in the dark. Signal where there's food. Or warn of trouble. Seems every kind of bird's got a different language. You want an apple? You want an apple? The woodpecker's song is the tapping of his beak. And the grouse communicates by the drumming sound of its wings. Whoa, Chief! We're gonna need an ornithologist to help us figure out what kind of bird Carmen wants to communicate with and why. I ask and you shall receive! Oh my, yes! Look at that razor bill arc! Huh? Oh, hi! I'm Chester. Want a sunflower seed? Chester? We're trying to figure out where Carmen would be headed if she had a sudden interest in bird calling. That's easy, Ivy. The best place I know to go for bird calling is the Leonard J. Waxdeck Bird Calling Contest. In fact, the contest prelims are going on today in Piedmont, California. Then let's kick it! Player, C5 us to Piedmont, California! On your beaks, bird dogs! We're migrating from Hoy, Scotland to Piedmont, California! California is the home of the world's tallest trees, the giant redwoods. The California condor. Oh, they're quite cool. But aren't they almost extinct? Yeah, don't you remember back in 1988, Ivy? They captured them all so they could breed them in safety. And with the wingspan of up to nine and a half feet, they're the largest flying land bird in North America. Ah, uh, who's running this bird show, Chester? You or me? Thanks, Chief. I'd love to. Yeah, but... Well, now I know why they tell you not to work with kids and animals. Ah! One of my favorite birds is also the smartest in the world, the raven. Once two ravens mate, they stay together for life. And a raven's favorite pastime is playing tricks. Huh? What? <laughs> he fell for it again! <laughs> we saw flocks of ravens at the Tower of London. Right. And the legend says if they ever leave the tower, England will fall. Well, relax, because that's not likely to happen. All those raven's wings are clipped regularly so they can't fly. But you can, and your next stop is Piedmont, California. It was Carmen San Diego. Carmen San Diego just stole the tapes of our bird calling contest. Call the police. It was Carmen San Diego. Looks like you were right on the money, Chester. There's her hovercraft. Zachary.
anybody move? Look, a glaucous skull. Chester, don't! Uh, this day couldn't get any worse. It could. And it did. What does a woodpecker's bird song sound like? 